KennyBaneEmpire.com. Log on now. Got my guy getting a razor work. Be easy on a razor, guys. You definitely could cut them. And that's not a good thing. Always press down with your finger to ensure the cleanest razor blade swipe. You want that clean motion that you really will only get from repetition, experience. When you're using a razor, guys, make sure to clear any pimples or debris on the client's skin. Very important. Don't forget to like, share, and comment to this content if you like it. If you don't like it, please let me know. Comment below. If you do, like, share, and let's get this money. Also, you need to use the back end of the razor blade. Again, repetition. Practice makes perfect. Find a client that doesn't mind letting you practice on them. Of course, you would have to cut them for free. <laughs> Definitely not going to practice on somebody and still get paid. I mean, shit. This happened to me before. I mean, great client. Shout out to those people. But just, you know, experiment and just find ways to practice. Always hold the skin tight and be easy and do a clean, most motionless swipe. Neck taper, definitely want to get a graduation of a great neck taper. I'm in the Baltimore area, so we say, we say that good tapers are trafficless, meaning there is no traffic. You want your blend to be seamless. You don't want that traffic jam in the back. <laughs> always, always be OCD about cutting. You will get the best result. Nothing like a sharp shape up line after a good blend. Always make sure all hair is clean. One thing that really helped me with my cutting and in life period is the fact that I feel like I'm OCD about everything. When I think I'm done, I just double check and triple check just to make sure it will take you so far and your clients will appreciate it. Turning my client around now, doing exactly what I just said. <laughs> Double checking that front line. Just going over it again and again. Never rush your work, guys. As a student barber, as an early barber, you tend to just rush through things, and that's not good. You want to take your time. Take your time and just get the job done, man. Take your time. Brush the client from any access head, from cutting them, clean them up. He will definitely appreciate it. I like to use all she that can too, brand. He wants the curly top, cruddy look, so I like to use all sheen and I like to use the holding spray. This curly brush is clutch. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this around, but I love this one in particular because it's double sided. I really love the one side where it's like that studio styrofoam that you see, and then it got the reverse side where it has the small holes. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Here I'm applying the hair fibers. I really love hair fibers, man. It really gives a natural enhancement look. You definitely do not want a hard permanent marker look. You want your enhancement to be natural as possible. Um, I like to use this uh, type of hard because sometimes the residue builds up on a regular business card and it kind of makes it hard and you don't want to leave excess on the client's forehead. So just experiment with different uh, materials that you can just easily wipe off maybe like after two or three clients just clean it off and experiment. One thing 
to do in life, period, not just in the Bible game, is experiment, find things that work for you, and always seek out better and efficient ways to do things. I will be giving you guys more haircut tutorials. Um, currently, I've been cutting hair for seven years. Wow, it's crazy, man. I've been cutting hair for seven years. Look at that blend. That neck taper is blended very nice, in my opinion. I love it. Um, when you do finish up the enhancement process, you definitely want to use a blow dryer just to like kind of bake it in. And then, like I said, before you let them out the chair, just Hit them up one more time with a light shape up tack and razor it up, man. And he'll be all good, man. I'm pretty sure he's gonna steal somebody's girlfriend when he get off the chair. <laughs> Courtesy of Kenny being head cut. Watch your girlfriend. Pull the skin. Use the corner of the blade. A lot of barbers say they struggle with that curve. You want that curve to be a seamless motion where it's just like a nice curve. You want your lines to be congruent and equal. Take your time, fella. Even if you're a student barber or if you are an experienced barber, you can always learn new things from anybody. Keep an open mind. Make sure your blends are right and you will get paid maximum dollars. Apparently, I am getting 40 and up for cuts. Um, I'm getting 25 and up for two-year-old. It may sound a little crazy right now, but hey, some young kids are kind of the hardest kids to cut because they're always moving and crying, and their parents still want that high-quality cut, so you have to perform. And why not get paid for you putting in that work, man? So know your worth. And just continue to keep cutting, man. I will be giving you guys so many more tutorials. Not even just tutorials, just a day in the life, man. YouTube is where it's at. Check me out. I got my merchandise page. I'm sorry, I got my website with my merchandise on it. KennyBingEmpire.com I have photography, kids, women, clothes for Bobby. I have it all. I currently not only do bothering, but I'm a photographer, videographer, I'm a promoter. I do a lot of other things. And the good thing about having your own channel, man, is that you can promote whatever you want. So just make sure to invest in yourself. And it's always good to have a mentor, somebody that you like, that gets the job done, man. So check in with me every day. I'm going to try to give you guys a video. Definitely every week. Check me out on Instagram. Anything underscore empire, or you can check out my strictly haircut page, which is Kenny Bean Haircuts with a Z at the end. One word, Kenny Bean Haircuts with a Z at the end. This cut is looking so fresh. I love it. My man looking like Clay Thompson right now. He got that Clay Thompson temp. <laughs> he got that Clay Thompson temp. Look at it. Me just being OCD. Check me out. I got one of my shirts in the background on right now. Respect the shooter. Because I told you before, I'm a photographer. If you're a photographer or you just like playing with the camera, man, support me. I got this good shirt for you. Look at him. He's like, yeah. Your girl ain't safe. Your girl ain't safe. Yeah, look at her. He's still looking in the other mirror. You want your haircut to have that type of effect, fella. So, yeah, man. Just make sure if you took one key thing away from this video, man, is to be OCD about what you do. It will get you a long way, and your client will pay you top dollar for being OCD. Love it. My man looking like Clay Thompson right now. He got that Clay Thompson temp. Take your time, fellas. Even if you're a student barber or if you are a experienced barber, you can always learn new things from anybody. Being Empire.com. Let's get it.
I got the Kids Galaxy t-shirts. I got my KBE logo shirt. I got the women's crop top t-shirts, all white.